me. Good morning, gorgeous. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning.
I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to add it into a smoothie because that shit is disgusting. The L glutamine and the super greens. I think it's the super greens that's disgusting. It just tastes like I ate powdered spinach with no seasoning. <sighs> this is sweat cream for my friend Kelsey's line. I'm going to put it all over my stomach and then put this sweatband on. And then we're going to go to the gym. Here's my sweatband. Nothing fancy it's from Amazon. We already took some of the outside, as y'all see in the beginning of the vlog. So, I'm just going to do the 12 3 30 at the gym for 30 days straight to see if I see a difference in my stomach. Because that's really just my target area. I like how my body looks. It's just that I bloat really, really bad. So, I'm trying to get that under control by targeting my gut. And we're going to see how that works. So we're going to do the L-glutamine and the super greens um, for the 30 days that I go to the gym. Well, what I'm doing is Monday through Friday, um, the 12, 3, 30, taking the weekend off. Because I realized that last time when I did this, I was super burned out because I was trying to do it every single day or doing some form of workout every day. And it just wasn't realistic. Because, like, yo, I'm tired. Like, let's be for real. So, the goal is to drink one full of these every day. Um, if you can try, one and a half. But this is 64 ounces. So, this is enough for one day. This is how much you should be intaking every day. I used to be drinking those 16-ounce um, water bottles, but I can't keep up with how many I've drank. And they want you to drink six. No, six? They want you to drink 64 ounces, 16 ounces, I don't know, do the math. What is that? Five? No, that's not five. That's like four. All right, y'all. So this is my neighborhood gym that I did not know existed until today. Like, I go to the pool all the time and never knew what this freaking room was. So that's good to know. I'm just going to do the treadmill like I told y'all. I'm only doing the 12, 3, 30. So I'm gonna set y'all up somewhere, somewhere steady, so that y'all can see me. Put my stuff down. This is why I don't like carrying too much around, because I have too much stuff. So I'm gonna set my stuff up on, should I do this treadmill or that one? I just feel like if other people come in, I'll feel comfortable over here with my tripods. I mean, with my camera set up. But, I mean, I could set y'all here. Can I set y'all in the window? Do y'all fall? No, you won't fall. Okay, great. I'll set y'all right here. Until someone comes in, you know, awkwardly. Don't want to be here anymore. So this is how I look. I love that there's no one in here. But then again, it is a freaking Tuesday. 
Tuesday. It's a Tuesday at 10 a.m. for the folks are at work. As they should be. You know me, I'm just a free body. A free spirit here, if you will. My speed is 2.5 and we're going to do this for 30 minutes. 18 minute mark and I'm holding on to these rails. I know they say not to but it's not going to get accomplished without it so you know eventually I'll get to that point where I don't have to hold on anymore but day one back. As long as I complete the 30 minutes, I feel like I accomplished something today. I held myself accountable. We're almost there. We're past the halfway mark, so that's just what I keep telling myself. But I can just dig it for 15 minutes. I can do it for 15 more minutes. And I also keep saying, a SpongeBob episode is 30 minutes long. And bitch, you can stand up for that long, so get to walk and hope. <laughs> I'm over here bullying myself. There it is. 
30 minutes. There it is, y'all. I did it. Day one. Day one is over. It is hot as fuck in here. Let me drink some water before I pass out. Sit down. Keep looking around because I have my ear pausing. Make sure no one's in here. Let me show y'all my sweat. Sweat check. Ooh, shit. So, what I'm trying to target here is this down here. So, I mean, it's not as bad. But you know, self um, deformation and self, um, what is it? <laughs> Look at all that sweat. I hope y'all can see it because sometimes my camera, she be acting up. But yeah, sometimes self consciousness makes you think that it's more than it is. But I've been kind of embracing my stomach lately. But here is how we look day one back. But I have a really bad bloat, like, let me push it out. This is how I look if I ate. This is how I look because I haven't, I'm not pushing it out right now. But yeah, very vulnerable, but this is what we're working with. This down here, it's not that dramatic, you know, it could be worse, but it's not ideal for how I want to look in clothes. That's what I'm working out for, how I look in clothes. <laughs> how I look outside of clothes, I'm fine, but in, in clothes, we're trying to make progress here so at this point i'm just jabbering y'all i am sweating if you know me in real life i don't really sweat that bad so this is this is this is this is something me and this treadmill we're gonna be friends okay so let me go home so i can eat something i have one video to film a sit down video a luxury haul so i'm a shower and do my skincare and then we can get into that video so whew, i gotta take my glasses off i feel like there's sweat dripping in my eyeball y'all <laughs> but yeah i'm gonna talk to y'all when we get back to the house <laughs> all right y'all let me give her her treat so i'm back home and she went potty stay 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 Good girl. Good girl. That's a good baby. Good girl. Good girl, Mama. Good baby. Good girl. I love you. Be honest. Mm. Alright, so what I want to do now, I already did this for TikTok, but I didn't do it for y'all, so I'm going to redo an unboxing of my... Um, my patient care technician welcome box from Davita Dialysis because yeah, y'all need to see that. I'm supposed to be documenting my journey, but I've been doing it for TikTok and not for YouTube. So we need to do both. So I retaped it up. I retaped it up so y'all can get the full effect, but also because I had hit a snag in like my background check portion so I wasn't quite sure if I was even starting as this role or not but I got confirmation this morning that I am so here's the kit with y'all open it it just says welcome to the Davita village instructions and training material to take with you for your first day open it like I said this is not my first time opening it I don't want to like fake it for a camera for y'all so 
All right, let's open the box. There is a welcome to the team packet in here. It just says resources, programs, and advice to get you off to a good start. Patient care technician edition. Y'all know I'm a certified phlebotomist. I was certified in April, and this is my first job offer since certification. So you don't need a phlebotomy, phlebotomy certification to be a patient care technician, but it's it's good to like stack your it's good to stack your um, experience and certifications on. It looks good on your resume. So um, I do plan on working my way up to an LPN. So I know some people go all the way up to RN, but I don't. I, I think LPN is where I want to go. Um, so you have all your stuff here, and it basically just gives you like a table of contents, what to expect, all of that on there. There's also a backpack in here. Okay, in the backpack there is a another, um, well this is a notebook, so you can take notes during training. Um, it is an eight week training process, so I'll be in the classroom and then I'll be side by side with my um, senior nurse or whoever I'm shadowing. Um, there is a DaVita headphone in here because like I said, it's going to be training modules and then a, a cup that says DaVita as well. But y'all know this is not enough water for me, so I will be taking my cup, my cup with me, which is from Amazon. I mentioned it in my Amazon um, haul. And then this is just a pen that was in there as well. This is DaVita all over it. And then this is a binder. This is a binder with the three prongs in the sides. Literally giving first day of school vibes. And then this is the contents that's going to be inside the binder. So really, I can get rid of this box and put all of the training manual in because I'm going to be going over section by section study guide and all that because like I said, DaVita has their own test that I have to pass before I'm able to like handle patients on my own. So I'll be shadowing from then on. So yeah, Simba's eating. So ignore the chomping in the background, but yeah, that's pretty much all for my first day. I do start tomorrow. So yeah, I'm kind of excited, but also nervous. You know how it is being the new girl, but when I did my shadowing, they were pretty nice to me. So I'm not really worried about that. But then again, that was only one shift. There's three different shifts. So, and once I start working, like once I'm out of training, my schedule will only be three days a week, which I thought was super great because you're saying 12 hour shifts, three days a week. I still have time for y'all, for content, for working out, all of that. So I think that's a good work-life balance. And also it lets me put the experience under my belt. Like I said, it looks good on my resume. I plan on staying there a couple years because I want, like I said, I want to keep moving up now. If I get, um, if I move up with my progress of nursing, um, that I could probably move up positions and responsibilities through DaVita. Also, I can I don't have to work at just my home base location. I can work at all DaVita locations, which I think that is cool too because you know, you never know where life will take you because yeah, a lot changes in my life very quickly. Um but yeah, so I'm just going to end the vlog here. I feel like I had a very very productive day. I feel very energized. Um I'm very proud of myself for going to the gym and also for getting this job. And I just want y'all to know that you can like, you can achieve anything that you put your mind to. Really, like if you put your mind to something and you say, this is mine, that is going to be that. It is very simple. Also, when you go for job interviews, make sure you negotiate your pay because they will lowball you if you don't say anything, okay? So, this position ranged from one amount to another, and I was able to negotiate on the higher end of the pay for a patient care technician. So do with that information what you may. When they ask you what's the lowest you'll take, do not lie. Don't feel like, oh, I shouldn't say nothing because they might not hire me. They have the budget or they wouldn't ask, okay? But yeah, y'all, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.